Natalie's following up on the target's physical injuries. She believes Burger Betty's frostbite will be the key to tracking her down. I'm off to see a friend of mine who's a wilderness medicine expert. As a plus, he's also a winter sports enthusiast, so he may be able to give me an idea about Burger Betty's frostbite and her injuries. But it's Tennessee in high summer, and the temperature is in the 90s, which is why Tennessee is home to some heavy-duty industrial refrigeration facilities. Reading 7.1 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know if I've ever been in cold weather like that. Natalie's here to download valuable information from Dr. Chris Moore, an expert in the damage that extreme cold can inflict on the human body. Oh, it's really cold in here. Yeah, it really is. But this will help us uh, find out exactly what happens with frostbite. And Natalie is about to learn firsthand how quickly frost can bite. Mm -hmm. Now take your glove off. Do I have to? <laughs> yeah, yeah. A thermal camera reveals Natalie's body temperature. Inner part of your hand's quite warm, okay. and we're gonna put it in the water. All right. In a temperature of just seven degrees Fahrenheit, a dry hand cools fast enough, but a wet hand cools even faster. I don't think I wanna take it out, though. <laughs> 25 below freezing and a wet environment just about perfect conditions for frostbite. I mean, my fingers look red. Green and yellow indicates a massive temperature drop in Natalie's fingers. Extreme cold is life-threatening, so the body protects the critical regions, the torso and the head, by shutting off blood to the limbs. But no blood supply means no oxygen, so the tissue in the limbs will quickly start to die. Toes and fingers are particularly vulnerable. At some point, Burger Betty's body had to make that critical decision, and the frostbite in her toes is the proof. My fingers are feeling numb. And again, that's how quickly things can happen. And, and picture here that we don't even have a big wind chill going. When Chris Moore hears about Burger Betty's history of injuries, everything starts to fit together. The fracture pills? Yeah, multiple fractures, wow. yeah. So the fact that that's there, and it probably f affected blood flow in both lower extremities. Mm -hmm. Decreased blood flow helps contribute to the frostbite. Maybe she had a traumatic event that led to the busted pelvis, mm -hmm. and then she's in a cold environment where she can't move her legs and feet too well. It looks like the pelvis injury could have accelerated the frostbite. 